Welcome to Dark Fang Reviews. I am King T'Challa, son of King T'Chaka, and I welcome you to watch our non-spoiler review of my movie, Black Panther. Will, the what, what are you doing? Uh, what, no, what are you, what, no? I wasn't doing anything. I was just talking about the injustice of society and how the world is. You're, you're a bat panther. I'm the king of Wakanda. Wait, come back. God damn it! What's going on, y'all? So, like Batbeard Panther thing said, this is a non-spoiler review of Black Panther. That's right. And y'all, there's a lot we want to talk about. Well, this is, like I said, non-spoiler, but we're gonna tell you how we felt about the movie and if you should go see it. Not if you should go see it. You should go see it. It is one of the greatest Marvel films I have ever seen. He is correct about that. So, okay, yeah, go see it. But separately, we're gonna tell you a little bit about how we felt about the movie. One person I do want to start off with is going to be Jason. He felt a lot with it. Uh, and, like, it's... Just talk about it, bro. Just talk about how you felt. Okay. Not spoiler, but I've never cried while watching any movie, any Marvel movie. Logan was close. But just... Uh, just the, just the, realis the realism of all, of all the characters and how... There's, there's a lot of dark secrets that Wakanda has, and Eric Killmonger, he's he's definitely on the on the high plate of Marvel villains. Uh, he he should sit in the chair with, with in the same same chair of council with Loki, Thanos, and all of them. B. Jordan did justice. That's one hell of a redemption from um, Fantastic Four. Like I can't wait to cosplay as him. <laughs> yeah, like for me. Again, this was absolutely fantastic. I think I resonated a lot with Killmonger, which sucks because he's a villain. <laughs> but the way they did it, though, they made him such a passionate villain. And that's what made him also dangerous because he literally fought because of love. Mm -hmm. Because of things that was literally taken from him. It had nothing to do with just, I'm a bad guy, I want to be, do bad things, and blah, 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 and ha, ha, ha. It's none of that at all. Like, it is literally, this was taken from me. I want revenge for this certain thing. And he fought because of passion, which made him that much more dangerous. And the stakes are high. This is a, one of the highest stakes for a movie, for just a character in general that I think I've ever seen in Marvel. Mm -hmm. And I just, man. They they had a little bit of the Luke Cage effect with the real with the realism of how it could apply to pl to apply to how to, how today's structure would work. Mm -hmm. But they they cut they cut it pretty close to what they were allowed to do for a cinematic theater. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What about you? So I'm gonna take it on a lighter tone. <laughs> uh, just the immersion of the African culture yeah. and being able to see that brought to life was just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like, without spoiling it, you know, uh, just from uh, when he goes through his own trials um, during their uh, ceremonies, like, you can really see the African culture coming out, and it is just. Gorgeous how they did it. it the really music, is. like all oh, the music. The music. The music was fantastic. All of the characters, you cared about all of them. Literally. All <laughs> of them. Literally. Like there wasn't one character that I was like, oh, you know, maybe I don't care too much about them. Every character that was introduced that, you know, was actually a character, not just like a background character, I was like, 
you don't actually kind of care what happens to them. Yeah. So they all had motivation. Mm -hmm. Every single character had motivation, and that that's what also made this movie that much more special. It's just like how like Ryan Coogler, bruh, Creed. Right, he brought us Creed, Fruitville Station, which was awesome. This dude is young and has done so much with his career, and it shows why they chose him to do Black Panther. Him working with with uh, Michael B. Jordan again, and then working with the same uh, composer that did the same composing music for Creed. You hear it in this movie. In this movie, it's big, it's amazing, and it grips you. It keeps you in to the story, and even on the slow parts of the movie. Even with the slow parts of the movie, it gave you so much information mm -hmm. that it kept you dev into the story. Because honestly, Black Panther is so much more of a character story than a normal Marvel movie. Like this movie is really big with character. And not only just the physical characters, Wakanda as a city was a character. Mm -hmm. And that was awesome. You do not see that. Like I loved it. Like, no, this movie isn't fast-paced all the time. It's not. It's not Captain America. But it is one of the best, no, it is the best film in the MCU. I would have to agree with that wholeheartedly. One hell of a thriller. One hell of a like, thriller. Like, it kept you on your, like, on the edge of your seat the whole time. And I'm trying to, honestly, find things to nitpick because as a reviewer, you gotta look at the entire thing, and I want to nitpick at certain things, but it's really hard to with a movie like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, hell, Ron Tomatoes deemed it 100%. Yeah, I mean, granted, it has gone down a little bit because we had, there has been a few negative reviews that have come down for it so far. So it's gone down a few, few, but that 100% that was there, it was meant to be there. It, mm -hmm. it, it was meant to be there. This movie is damn near, damn near perfect. Was it perfect? Like I said, We'll talk about a lot of things in the spoiler. Oh yeah. But oh, yeah. it was damn near perfect. There's a reason why this movie is gonna blow out every other movie in MCU. Yeah, it It was incredible. It I wouldn't be dressed as Black Panther if I didn't think that it was gonna be a good movie. It <laughs> was fantastic. Also, there are so many quotes in this movie. That's going to hit you so hard. Again, we'll talk about it in a spoiler review, but it's going to hit you so hard if you've dealt with this, these things. Because Killmonger's motivation, it hits. It hits you, which is what makes him the perfect villain, the, the best villain that we've had in MCU. And you see both sides. It's not just a one sided thing. Because most Marvel movies or MC movies, they deal with like glorifying the hero and you don't get to see both sides of the hero and the villain in this movie you see both mm -hmm. and you understand both and that's what makes this movie amazing but again we can't really go too much into <laughs> into this because if we can go and get we're, we will be dangerously close to getting into spoiler territory mm -hmm. and we don't want to do that so we're gonna end that like right here before yeah. we can go anymore we're getting too deep we're gonna release a spoiler yeah. review on saturday Saturday. So, come back for that. If you really want to see how we felt about it and go deep into this, please just come back, watch us, subscribe to our channel, and please be sure that you hit that bell. That way you know when we upload new videos. You're going to want to watch a spoiler review because we're going to get deep into it. On a yeah. side note, if you're like us who've already seen it, please, no, no spoilers. spoilers no spoilers in the comments. No spoilers in the comments. Don't please don't. It. I will say this. The fact that Black Panther and Rango DC Black Lightning has like hit a lot of the same things is showing that this world, Hollywood, is actually letting the black community speak. That is rare. That is indeed rare. That is rare. And, and speak at the level that it's speaking and doing it without preaching. Mm -hmm. About damn time. So, y'all. Let us know what you felt about the movie in the comments if you've already seen it. Come back and see us for the spoiler review. It's going to go hard. We're going to talk a lot about it. I'm going to still be Nick Fury. He's going to still be T'Challa. And this fool right here, <laughs> just wait. You'll see. It's going to go hard, y'all. No spoilers.
We're really excited to bring y'all the spoiler review when it comes. My name is Steven, aka Nick Fury. I'm Batbeard, aka T'Challa. I'm Jason, rocking the Wolverine. And we'll see y'all next time. Deuces.